Uh, it was just something I thought I'd try. <laughs> Why not? Um, Coach Harson told me they're coming back, so. Yeah, has the reception been good? What? Has the reception been good for it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got some good feedback. Um, I've also got some bad feedback, so I think it's got to go pretty soon. <laughs> what's uh, you know, what, what's kind of, you know, we, we've talked to you, you know, going into the season, and you broke the record and stuff like that. What has this season been like for for you? Um, honestly, this season's been it's been a pretty fun season. You know, we've had a lot of wins, had two pretty critical losses, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a ten-win season, so and we have a chance to to win our bowl game still. How would you kind of, you know, you know, been asked some of the guys, how would you assess the regular season? Because then I think this, you know, going into this year, you guys talked about 2015 being a disappointment. And I don't know if that was just because of the home losses or what, but why was maybe this year different than last year? I think this year was a little bit different because of all the work that we put in before the season and, and even during the season. Um, I've never been a part of a team that's worked that hard and, and that's put in so much effort. So, you know, to, to give something all you have and still maybe come up short of our goal, it's still disappointing, but you gave it all you had. The last two years, the team really played well in both bowl games, Arizona and the game last year against Northern Illinois. What can you take from those games and the success you had to this one? Um, I would say just how we prepared and all this extra time we have leading up to it. Um, you know, Coach Pitt does a great job of making sure we're in shape and, and you know, we're starting to get stronger again from the, from the season. And, and um, you know, our preparation is pretty key. You would seem to be a candidate to play in one of those all-star games whatever after the season. Have you, have you heard from anybody? Is there anything that – are you going to do any of those games you know of yet? Or would uh, you like I don't know of any yet, so I haven't heard from any. Okay. Anything. With a, you know, having, having said with you that this season, you know, how, much, how much has that you know, been to your benefit? Or you know, what, what has that been like having an, another guy? I mean, his first time, PC said 2,000 receivers the same year. Yeah, you know, so that's a great asset to the whole offense. And, and, you know, he's a huge deep threat for us, and that opens up our run game. It opens me up. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, he does a great job of just catching the ball no matter, you know, what situation he's in. So, you know, without him, you know, it's a lot of less yards. With, with Jeremy, obviously, he's going to have a decision to make at some point. Uh, what, how fun has it been, I guess, to, to see Jeremy, what he's done the last two years, really, but really th this year, what he's done, you know, uh, playing alongside him? It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's pretty cool to watch him. And it's been, you know, obviously a great time playing with him. Um, you know, I don't know what his decision is, and, and whatever it is, you know, all of us are supporting him 100%. He's one of the hardest working guys, you know, on the team. So, you know, he deserve any deserves anything that comes his way. What's you know, what's the, what has what have you noticed differently, maybe from him this year, you know, from last year? How how, how is he different? Because it does seem like he's there's a lot of ways, but to you, what stands out the most? Uh, I would say, you know, the way he's reading the holes and and he's really finishing his runs good. I think. Um, you know, he, he's getting those extra two or three yards he needs. And, and you know, when I come in and get the safety or a set or Chaz, uh, he does a good job of cutting off off us. And uh, that's kind of how a lot of his big runs have came this year, just reading the box. I mean, you, you had to step in for a guy like Matt Miller, who was tremendously <laughs> productive. And, and he had to take over for a guy like Jay Ajay, who had you know, one of the most, I don't know, dynamic seasons in, in really college football history. I mean, uh, impressed with how, you know, his ability to handle those expectations and for the most part live up to him as well. Yeah, very impressive. Um, obviously Jay was an amazing running back and, and it felt like you know he filled his shoes completely and you know that's kind of what we talk about when, when someone leaves it's all up to the next guy carrying the flag and you know he carried it and ran with it. What was the first thing you thought of when you heard you guys were playing against Baylor? Uh, I was excited. I think we all were. Um, I'm you know, very pumped up for it, and, and it should be a good matchup. You know, it's, those guys compete. What do you want to see out of the offense in the game? Because they were scores, so you guys are going to probably have to score a lot to win the game. Yeah, we got to put up some numbers. Um, you know, I, we're pretty confident in that, and, and you know, as long as this preparation for this bowl week goes well, um, we should be fine. Said was playing; they play a lot of zero and stuff, kind of like <clears> New Mexico and some schools did. I mean, have you have you seen that? And, and I guess safe to say you would welcome that challenge. Uh, you know, in the bowl game. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they're a base cover four team, so that still leads to one-on-one -on -one matchups too. But their, D their DBs do a good job of, of rerouting, and, and they're fast. So, you know, it should be a good uh, competition for us. How have you seen, uh, you know, Brett <coughs> kind of continue to mature? And, you know, when it comes to Boise State, you know, the, the, uh, the standard here is, is what probably attracts you guys in recruiting. But then, you know, kind of being a part of that standard and trying to live up to it is, is obviously another whole, another whole other challenge and responsibility. Yeah, Brett's definitely matured a lot. Um, I just did another interview in there, and we were kind of talking about it. But, you know, seeing him from the beginning of the season and even last year to, to right now, it's just like 
he's a whole other person. And it's not like he wasn't good enough to begin with. He's just making huge strides, and uh, it's really impressive to watch. So where is he better? Um, I would say just his command over the whole offense. Um, he's kind of keeping everyone on the offense to a certain standard, and and you know being a sophomore, it's very you know impressive. Like I said before. And he's just uh, reading the defense, and the way he checks out of his plays as he reads the defense, it's, it's uh, pretty neat to watch. Maybe there's going to be a day where, where it sinks in even more, but I mean, have you had any time to kind of look at your career at, at all and maybe what stands out the most to you? I mean, 3,300 receiving yards is a lot of, a lot of yards. <laughs> yeah, I haven't looked too much into it yet, so uh, maybe after the full game I will. How is, how is Brett different, I mean, personality-wise? You mentioned it a little bit, but obviously he's, he said his roles maybe changed a little bit. He doesn't know to throw as much and all that stuff. How is, you know, you mentioned, you mentioned a little bit, but how is, how is he just different? Uh, he's a guy that, you know, whatever his role is going to be, he's going to accept it and be the best at it. And, um, you know, whether that's throwing more balls or, or not throwing as many, uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever is going to help the team. No, you, you guys, just one more, sorry. You, you guys are you're a senior and you're leaving, I mean, uh, he's probably going to be a guy that even takes a bigger leadership role next year's program in good hands with Brett Rippin. It is in very good hands with Brett Rippin. Uh, I'm very excited to see you know, what happens next year and how they take possibly the momentum from this bowl game in the next season.